Today, I'm going to talk about a trading journal app. This is an app which will allow you to improve your trading, track all your results, and improve your win rate and trading performance over time. Before we get into the video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you found this video useful. If you use this app, leave a comment down below how you found it and if it did actually improve your trading results. So let's get into it. The app is called Edge Wonk. Interesting name, but I found it very, very useful for my trading, you know, journaling all the trades and everything like that. If we're on the app now, I'll show you how I use it and how I actually benefit from using it. So you see here, when you actually log in and create an account, you do have to pay a fee. You have to pay $169 per year, but I think you will make that back. You know, if you're making a decent money from trading and you want to invest into your trading to make it even better, or you're a beginner trader that wants to just invest in your trading to kind of kickstart your journey, to actually have a trading plan, trading journal, then you can do this. You know, it's not even too bad. That's like £10 a month, something like that. You see, we have a light and dark mode. And what you can do is you can, you can add separate data weights. So you're here, I've got my main one. I'm gonna add one for this video. So I'm gonna call it uh, video. So you can call it maybe one account on one database, one account on another database. Um, currency, you obviously add whichever currency you have. I'm GBP. Uh, which is the pound and you know we trade forex and so we're going to leave it at forex the amount let's say we put 10,000 into this account and we deposited it today create database there we go so now you see there's 10,000 in the account and this is how you track it every trade you take your input and it will kind of track it over time like a kind of my effects book would do but instead of a my effects book this actually tracks more more data you can add pictures, you can add all charts and everything like that. You have notepads. I'm gonna go through how I use it personally. So let's say I just entered my first trade. You can add trade here. You can have the entry date, the entry time, the instrument, and you can set certain instruments. So you have to type them out every time. So let's say XEU USD, because you know we love gold. Setup, this is where you can add your different confluences. So say maybe you have multiple confluences for a trade. You can add these here so you know which one's actually set up where, and you'll see this. So let's just say, buy blur. Let's say that was our confluence. Direction, let's say it was buy. Entry price, let's just say it's 1800. You can choose your lot size here. Stop loss, let's say it was 1700, and the date profit was 1801. That's just an example. Exit date, let's just set it to tomorrow. <laughs> and exit price, 1801, there we go. And this is where you have to input your profit and loss. And it's, you see below it says the fees. And this is good because say you're using a broker which actually charges commission or you get swap fees if you're trading over the weekends or over market closures, then you will actually be able to account for this as well. So say we made 100, but we did actually lose minus £2.30 in fees, for an example. And that will calculate and add up on the account and vary for your percentage. So here, this is where I'd actually write notes about that trade. So what I personally write in this section is what went well with the trade, why did I enter the trade, what we're setting up in that sort of time frame. And you know, even after the trade, I will add to this, I'm um, saying the trade went like this, 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 and yeah, that's what I personally do. So add something in there, just as an example. Then we can go to the advanced trade data. And this is where you can add good things and bad things, which actually happened with the trade. So we can say entry, Perfect. And you could put it as green, so that means this is a good thing. You have it as negative, neutral, or green, and you'll see how this plays later on. Exit comments, let's say perfect. And then these will actually save as well, so you can come back to them. Trade management held to target. So you can add that as another section. So let's say the trade actually went in, maybe like let's say 5% profit, so you would put 500 was the highest price. But then even if you didn't close at that price, that would be the highest point in the trade. And this is a good thing to actually analyze because you might be missing out on profits. You might be targeting too far when if you look back at your trades, you've had so much profit on the table, which has been lost by coming back to break even or coming back to stop you out. And this is a good thing to actually notice. Um, let's leave this out for this one. Overall target hit, we could say that was hit, yeah. And again here, another feature, if the trade is actually a break even trade, you can do that instead of having it as a a win or a loss and then you have these stats here which are like already created and you can add your own personal ones over here and then the last section you can add either a url from trading view or you can drag and drop a file 
from your desktop or any software which you uh, use to save your files. And then you see we save this trade and then it is green. So when it's green like this, which means it is a win, and you can see on the side here, we've got that 1% profit and the last trade is a 1%. And here is the tilt meter. This is a very, very key, key thing. So you see, it's all the way over in the green. But let's say we did it badly. This trade, we didn't manage it properly. Our entry was too late. Our exit was too early. Then it will be over in the red. And you can tell, because let's say you're doing loads of good things in one time period. Then they start to be more red and the red goes further along. Then you know you need to change something about your trading and something is clearly going wrong. And as you see, you can scroll along and see everything on here. So you see, all the trade management comments, TP here, entry comments, stuff like that. And if we go across, you can see the setup easily. So then, you know, you can filter just your perfect entries or just your bad entries. So you can see if those traders have patterns and how you can pretty much get rid of this from happening so you win more trades. You see here along the side, there are many, many, many more tabs which you can actually use. You know, simulator is a good one. You can use your current win rate over the months or so to simulate what it, would be, what it would be like over let's say 500 trades, 1000 trades and you can do that on here. Then it will tell you the results after it happens. So you see here, we would have pretty much no losses because we've only added one win and there'd be a, all the trades would have won. You can add sessions, missed trades. So let's say your trade doesn't actually hit your limit or you're not at the charts when the trade actually hits your zone. Add it in here just so you still have that analysis because you technically still got the trade right but you can realize, okay, my entry was off by this many pips, so I need to improve that. Then analysis, this analyzes your uh, trades you missed. And then here, look how many sections are here. You can compare the, the two charts, your equity, holding time, performance by time, all of this win rate. Calendar, so you can see it has a green day here, which means we're profitable on this day. And let's say over like a few months, you can maybe realize, okay, so Tuesdays I'm trading really well. But then I lose every Thursday if it's every Thursday is a red. Maybe I don't add Thursdays into my trading plan. I'll remove that from my trading plan. I'll just trade the rest of the days of the week. So this is a good thing to actually look out for. Backtester, this is a very, very good tool. So what you can actually do is I write down notes for each single trader backtest. And then here you have the outcomes. So let's say the first trade made 2%, perfect. But then the second outcome for this trade, maybe you have a a bigger stop loss or you have a stop loss at a certain area under confluences and that trade made 3% instead. So you can see if we add a few more in that over time, you see this over time, the second way of doing your stop loss, it's actually made you more profit. So then you realize, okay, I should be trading this instead. Then you can move that into your live markets and add that as a confluence instead. And you know, you can have different back testing sessions. So you've got one there, you've got another one here, so you can do it for different, uh, ways of trading or different confluences. Down here we have the chart book. So any charts you paste in the journal or everything like that will be uh, will show in this this area here. Notes, this is a good thing. So this way is where you could probably write your trading plan or notes for each day of trading. Um, like you should journal in your life, you should journal in your trading as well every single day. So write down what happened with the trades, did you break the rules, what rules did you follow, what did you do well, what went wrong. Write that all down here in a new note here like this and yeah you can add links to charts or new software which you used uh, add pictures anything like that all in this area and then here you can actually import your trading statements so let's say you just don't want to fill in every single trade then you can just import it um, from as you see your trading platform statements and then you can select it in here but if we go back to the home now to show you how it all looks so you see we have this green day here which was profitable uh, you have 100 shows your win rate you can do it weekly or monthly. You can see the average, all this shows for all your averages. Um, so you can have this weekly, monthly, and then overall, so this is of all time. So you can kind of look how well you're doing on the week, how well you're doing in a month compared to your overall all time stats. Then it shows your performance and then some help in how you can improve the use of the software. But I think this is very, very good software. You know, there's a link in the description if you guys want to use it. And you know, if, if it actually helps your trading, then let me know. So I want to know what you guys are actually using and how you're improving your trading yourself. If you guys did enjoy, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.